Most entrepreneurs think business will make them rich. It's a story we've all bought into. Some will get rich, but most won't. Most entrepreneurs end up more or less making the same amount of money they would have done if they stuck out the day job. While money may not be the motivator for every entrepreneur, it gives you options. For example, if you're broke but doing what you love, you may end up having to do what you don't love just to pay the bills. The reality is that businesses don't make you rich. Assets do. Let me explain. Business is what you do day to day. You only have so many hours in the day, so a lot of your business value is dependent on the hours that you can work. You can hire staff, delegate your time, but much of your profit is eaten up by this monster of a business you need to keep feeding. You might think that someday you might be able to sell the business. Some people do. A very small amount of people do. Most entrepreneurs don't. Why take a gamble? Why gamble your future on someone else's decision? Someone that you haven't met yet. See, my success formula involves not one, but two businesses. One, a lifestyle business that allows you to be creative, that you love doing, and an investment business that makes money while you sleep by owning assets. Your lifestyle business should produce enough cash for you to live well and put that surplus cash flow into the investment business. This formula will, in time, give you creative and financial freedom like it did me. Let me explain a little why how this works. Could you create a lifestyle business that enabled you to save, let's say, 500 bucks a month? I bet you could. Especially if I said that was just, well, just over $100 a week. Think about what that $100 a week could get you if you used it wisely. Rather than stick those $100 savings into stocks or even a savings account, invest it into assets such as real estate. Here's how it works. I once bought a six-bedroom house for around half a million dollars. In total, the deal only cost me around $5,000. Now, think of that in the context of $100 a week. In a year, you could save up enough money from your lifestyle business to buy an investment such as a six-bedroom house worth half a million dollars. That house continues to produce around $20,000 of net income every year for very, very little work. I found the house through making friends with real estate agents and asking around for specific deals that I was looking for. Now, if that deal costs less than $5,000 and produces $125,000 of income over 10 years, what is the return on your investment? Well, you might say $125K isn't enough to retire on, is it? Sure, it isn't. I agree with you. But consider this. If that house is fully managed by a property manager, a professional, he will leave me around 10 to 20 hours of work to work on that house a year. So the question now is, is that, a, not, is that enough to retire on? But how many of these deals could you do? One, 10, 100? You see, assets make you rich, and the king of all assets is real estate. Sure, Facebook might be the sexiest stock pick out there today, but would it be round in 20, 50 years? I don't know for sure, but I do know this for true, that we will still need to live in houses in 50 years, and maybe even 500 years from now. See, the housing market goes up and down, but if you do it right and you focus less on the value of the house, which tends to be what amateur investors do, and more on the income that you can get from those assets, you can build one of the best investment businesses around. There will always be a growing supply of people, and there will always be a finite, fixed supply of land. So if you're currently renting a place to live, you're already part of the housing market, just the wrong end of it. You're paying your landlord's mortgage loan interest and also some profit to boot. And if you're living in your own home, you have a start 
but don't think about reinvesting in your home. Use that money elsewhere and start building your investment business portfolio. The good news is this, you don't need to be qualified or experienced to own assets. You can get started in real estate right now. You can even do it without any money. Build a business that creates cash flow. Use the cash flow from that lifestyle business to invest in an investment business and buy assets that go up in value. Make money while you sleep. That is the key to creative and financial freedom long term.